Hello, I'm Bruce Shane, and today in Homemade Science, we're going to take a look at another example of a mystery box. Now, this is an older demonstration that I used to use in my classroom. In fact, I used to do it in this container, so I guess it would be called a mystery can. Uh, we usually use this following our egg drop experiment. This was an assignment where a student or a team of students had to develop a package that would catch an egg when it was dropped from a height of 5 meters. Now, once we were done dropping the eggs, I usually had several cracked or whole ones left over. So at this point, I bring out the can and do this experiment. But for this video, I thought I'd try it in a brand new container, and I actually haven't seen whether it works in here yet, so we're going to see this together. So the idea was to take this egg and break it on this side, drop the egg into the container, like that. There we go, put that over there. And I'm going to cover it with this piece of cardboard, and at this point I'd usually ask for a volunteer, and uh, Mr. Potato Heads volunteered to assist me with this. So essentially what I'd end up doing is taking this container, turning it over, and then bring it over my assistant's head and remove the card. And the egg doesn't come out. So I put the card back on and flip it over. So my question is, how is it done? Where's the egg? Well, frying pan here, if I simply take the container, turn it, there it is, right there. Now I think I would like to try this again, this time in a box that I made. It's clear plastic covered by paper, wooden side, clear plastic covered by paper on this side, and another wooden side, and the bottoms wood also, and I made this of April of this year. Now let's try this one. Once again, an egg broken on the side. Drop it in. There we go. And I'm going to cover the top of it with cardboard for a moment. And I'll turn it upside down. And my volunteer, <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. And once again, there's no egg shown on the cardboard. Let me turn it back over. Um, the egg's inside, is it? Well, let's see. Turn it over the frying pan. And there's my egg. Now, do you think you know how this was done? Well, before you guess, let me show you one more example. Uh, this one looks pretty much the same. It's plastic covered by paper, wood, plastic covered by paper, wood, wooden on the bottom. I made this one this last April also. So let's give this one a try. Here's an egg. I'll break it. Drop the egg inside. There we go. Once again, we'll cover it, and, and Mr. Potato Head, let's uh, turn this upside down, pull the cardboard off, and there's no egg, as you can see. Uh, so I turn it back over, and if I turn it for the frying pan, Hey, didn't come out. Let's see, I turn it this way. Nothing. Turn it this way. Nothing. Turn it this way. Ah, there it is. <laughs> okay, well, those are my mystery boxes. Plus my mystery containers. Now, when I showed this to my students, I challenged them to make one for themselves, and if they did, I would give them extra points. Now, I do want you to know how this was done, and I will show you that in part two, not only how it was done, but also how you can easily make one of these for yourselves. At this point, I want to thank you for watching, and hope you'll come back and see me again. Okay, bye!
think it's time for me to go have some eggs.